So let's begin uh, in a seated position, just like how I am here. We're gonna start off with pretzel. Lifting the knee up, we're gonna go for 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, you're going to squeeze the leg in now. So as if you were trying to bring your toe over to the other side, keep the leg hovering off of the ground. You're just going to squeeze everything in. So you should feel that hamstring definitely turn on here. So let's go for 20, 19. Use the hands here to help support your upper body. 15, pull the lower abs in. And 16, 15, 14, 13. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. So now we're going to actually tap the foot in front of us just like this, keeping the hands right where they are. Lift up tall through the chest and through the spine. Pull up through the lower belly. So this is a really good exercise to improve your posture and just lift everything up. Just gonna tap the toe right in front and you're just going to swing it around, go right back to that squeezed position, that attitude squeeze, so where the toe is kind of wrapping around behind you. And you're going to tap in front and you're going to shift a little bit forward and squeeze. Good, 10 like this. 10 and squeeze. Nine and squeeze. So it might take a few reps to just kind of get the whole motion of it. Good. Pull the lower belly up and in. Four, three, and squeeze. Two, and squeeze, and one, and squeeze. Good, and then just lift that leg and just bring it right to the side right here. We're just gonna do pulses. 20 times, 20, 19, 18, 17. Pull the lower belly in. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Okay, come on up onto all fours. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, you're going to extend the leg out at a diagonal and you're going to lift the leg up as high as you possibly can without compensating in that left side. Keep the left side nice and strong and you're going to tap the knee to touch the tricep and extend it back out at that diagonal. Make sure it's not straight back behind you. It's over in that corner zone there. All right, so let's do 20 like this and 20, 19, 16, feel the core working to support this. So feel the lower belly squeezing in and up. Pay attention to the hands, so spread out those fingers. Make sure that you're not dropping in the shoulders. Keep pushing the floor away from you as if you were doing a plank pose. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it out there. We're gonna do little kicks out there for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Pull that belly button up and in. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and bring it down, nice job. Okay, let's go into the other side now. So sit up onto that right side, one hand in front, one hand over to the side, and you're going to lift the leg up in that attitude. So you're just going to try to bring that knee back behind you as far as you can go. All right, so let's lift it up. And we're going to be leaning forward like this, but try not to kind of totally collapse. You still wanna hold your body weight up, good. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we're going to squeeze it in for 20, 19, 
lifting. Feel that hamstring working there. Try to keep the leg above the floor, hovering right on top. If you're not able to hover it, that's okay. You can just slide it along the floor. 1. Here we go. Now we're going to tap it in front. So sit up nice and tall. Use this time to really improve your posture. Feel the shoulders drawing down the back. And then we're going to squeeze it back behind. Good. For 10. And squeeze. 9. And wrap that leg around. 8. And 7. Lift up tall to the crown of the head. 6. And five, four, three, two, and one. Squeeze. Good. Now bring it over to the side. 20 lifts right here. Try to readjust. Pull up the lower belly. Lift up tall through the top of the head. And 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. 13, 12, it's burning. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. All right, let's come right on to all fours. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. So make sure you're nice and square here. Memorize this feeling so that you don't shift too far over to the other side, even when the leg is out. Good, now extend the leg over into the corner there and lift the leg up nice and high. Pull the belly up and in. Push the floor away from you. Actually protract the shoulder blades so you're not sinking down into the shoulders. Spread the fingers out wide. Lift the lower belly in. Tap the knee up into the tricep. See how I even take this little like cat-cow position, which would be like the cat? Push the floor away and then extend it out. Nice. Good, we're gonna do 20 times like that. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Keep pushing the floor away. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and five, nice long line with the leg. Four, and then we've got our pulses. Three, and two, and one. Reach it out, hold it there. We're gonna do little pulses now. Just try to kick out and out, out for 20, 19, 18, 17. Good, try to lift up on that right side. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Oh my goodness. All right, take a quick little butterfly stretch. So I really encourage you, if you are more advanced or you wanna challenge yourself, go ahead and repeat this entire video so you do this two times through. If you're looking for something even more, then you can add a three pound weight in the leg here as you squeeze back. And you can even, or you can add an ankle weight, maybe like a one pound ankle weight. So that's a great way to progress and use this video over and over again and get stronger every single time you do it. I'm so proud of you. Great job today. And I will see you next time.